And the winner is Justin Bachman. It was September 18th, 2010. And that was a day that crushed me. That day was seemingly just another track meet for Justin Bachman, but that ordinary meet would change his life forever. I have a medical condition called Tourette syndrome. It's a neurological condition that causes people to have uncontrollable twitches, movements, vocal outbursts, all these things are called tics. No matter how hard I try, it's like trying to stop a sneeze or trying to make it so you don't have to blink. When I was in eighth grade, I was disqualified from a cross country meet because the officials thought that my tics were just me trying to be rude, trying to be obnoxious as opposed to what they actually are in something that I can't control and something that I was born with. Justin realized that the best way to keep others from experiencing his pain was to open up about some of the hardest parts of his own journey. Everyone has something that makes us different and I never wanted anyone to experience the pain, the hurt that I did. He created a presentation called Living Loud, which would take him to 150 schools across 15 different states. As I started speaking more and more, I realized that suicide was a topic that needed to be talked about. I attempted suicide three times before I was 11 years old, before I was diagnosed with Tourette's, before I really knew who I was. The first time I ever did that part of the speech, um, after that presentation, there was a girl that came up to me and said, I had planned on committing suicide tonight but after hearing your story, after hearing that you were where I am and you were able to get out of it and that you were able to make it through alive, I know that I can too. And that has happened 19 times. It's an impossible thing to comprehend, to know you have the power to save a life. Since those profound interactions, he has decided to apply his talent for reaching others to his education and career. I chose broadcast because I love storytelling. I didn't want to continue 100% of the time being a public speaker, being a motivational speaker, and so journalism and broadcast and local news was something that would allow me to keep telling stories, but to be able to do it in a different way. Whether it be in front of his peers, a high school auditorium, or on the 6 o'clock news, Justin Bachman will continue to inspire others.